Merry Christmas! Ho 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 ho! Welcome back to the Asperger's Grove Christmas special. The special news is, I've got baubles in my beard, and I know they're making a noise, so I'm going to take them out now. That hurt more than I expected. Oh, need some moisturizer. Mmm! Still one on there. Let's leave him there. Just recenter him a little bit. There we go. So, I'm always at a bit of a kerfuffle when it comes to doing subscriber specials for milestones and doing anything related to holidays or any significant event. So, when it came to Christmas, you know what, I just thought, I thought I'm not gonna go too full out on the, the whole um, thingy, and uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna chat to you guys about the year, the year that we have had, and the year that is to come, and also to bring light to something that I believe is very important, and that is, not everybody has a fun time at Christmas, I know. They don't. For a lot of people, Christmas can be a really horrible time of year. There's a lot of goddamn suicide attempts at Christmas and a lot of those people succeed. There's a lot of loneliness and mourning and if you've lost anyone throughout the year and it comes to Christmas and they're usually around at Christmas, it's not great. But before we talk about those very important things, I just want to say thank you and this is an actual genuine sincere thank you not a sarcastic Tommy thank you that you're all so used to there has been times in my life well I mean to be honest the, the majority of the time in my life where I did not enjoy living at all I, ne I never really felt like I had a purpose other than just living in constant depression and anxiety and coming onto YouTube, you know, it sort of started as something where I could just get my thoughts and emotions out there and hopefully receive some positive uplifting comments about it. But nowadays it has actually become something that I'm very passionate about and it's done a lot more to shape who I am than I have really let you guys on onto. There's been so many times where my YouTube su success, as I see it, because I think nearly 2,000 subscribers, for me, that feels like a lot. Like, I know that there are some bigger channels out there, and, you know, that they sort of dwarf my channel in comparison, but just thinking about just how many people have actively wanted to press the subscribe button so they could listen to more of me. It's it's just amazing. It really is. It, it, it really, really is. Um, it's um, it's not always been hard, easy, easy. It's sometimes it can be. You know, stressful because I put a lot of pressure on myself to put out videos alongside the other stuff that I've been doing. And, but in general, I've received so much positivity from making this channel and so much positivity from you guys. You. You have helped me open doors for my career paths. You've made. You've helped me, you know, pave the, I'm going to use a path analogy again, pave the path towards trying to solve this terrible way that our society treats autistics and treats autism as a thing. And I, I couldn't do it without you. I literally couldn't do it without you. There are some really exciting things that are coming up over the course of the, you know, the next few months. I've had a lot of interest from different 
companies who want to sh- to me to go along and or me to try their products um and it's you know i've been asked to go onto this radio show uh, by this lady called anna kennedy and i i honestly i didn't really know who anna kennedy was at the time but i sort of got an email and said oh do you want to come up and do, shoot a radio show in covent garden in london so i was like ooh covent garden in london that sounds proper um so <laughs> I chatted to my lovely mother and um, she told me that Anna Kennedy is quite a big thing in terms of the world of autism. She set up some special needs schools. She's been a successful author. She's done a lot. I mean, she's an OBE. And to think that I am getting contacted by people like that blows my mind. It really, it really does blow my mind. It's amazing what we can do as a community, coming together. Although it is me speaking on camera and it is me putting out the videos, without the support of everybody on there, and not even just the the numbers, the the stats and the views and the subscriber counts, but the, the comments just getting those comments although you know sometimes it can be negative getting those positive comments that mean a lot and have a lot of wording and power and emotion in them really makes me want to make more videos and it really it makes me feel like I'm doing good and I do feel like I'm doing good and I want to make good so it makes me very very happy very happy. I don't know why I'm going all somber and stuff. I'm I'm trying not to tear up. Okay, okay. Let's bring back some humour in to deflect them tears. No tears, not today. Not today on a Sunday afternoon. It's not Sunday. It's Monday, and it's not the afternoon. It's it's the evening. As some of you may know. I have been going through a difficult time post uni and during uni. Um, there, there's some things in my personal life that I don't, you know, want to talk about. Although I would love to, I feel like some things need to be personal. But there have been a lot of difficult things that I've had to deal with um, over the course of, you know, the past three or four months. Um, not just mental health wise, you know, usually it would be just mental health and declining and stuff, but actually things have been happening and it's, it's kind of hit me very hard and took an, a lot of energy and breath out of me. So it's, it's been difficult, but I'm hoping that coming the next, next new year, I'll be able to be more consistent and actually give you an upload schedule so that you know when my videos come out so you don't think oh no where's his videos and oh no those are too many videos in a short space of time I can't go watch over those I'm gonna have to put them in my saved file well I'll try and try and ease that pain with my actions again not being sarcastic everything that comes out of my mouth to me sounds like I'm being sarcastic why, why is that? I don't know. Who knows? Let me know in the comments so I can change it. So that's all the the teary emotional thank you part of the video out of the way. Again, you guys are amazing. From my heart, you've helped me so much personally, emotionally, work-related wise spiritually you really have so i don't know how how else i can say it but thank you you thank you for being a part of my channel the reason why i'm including this part of the video is that i know that all of the you know festivities and good good feelings and good moods and getting presents is all great and for a for you know for a good proportion of people yeah it is 
Sure, it can be a little bit stressful, but it's worth the effort and people have a good time. Not everybody has... The, not everybody has a family. Not everybody has lots of friends. Specifically, when talking about autistic people, we are one of the most socially isolated, depressed, anxious, suicidal group on the planet. That's disregarding all the other stuff about alienation and bullying. And for many people on the autistic spectrum, Christmas is not great. It's not fun and full of Santa Clauses and Rudolphs and Christmas lights and decorations and beard baubles. And sometimes Christmas can, be, can even be bad and horrible. And there is someone in my life that when I'm, you know, that sort of sparked off the idea of, of talking about this and it's, it's really opened my eyes to what Christmas can be like for people. If you don't have good relationships with your family or you don't have your family and all of your Christmas Christmases when you were younger were not great and they were full of difficult scenarios and they were just another one of those things where maybe your parents got really drunk and did something questionable. Christmas can, can be bad because it, sometimes people expect too much of other people. Some families have a lot of money. Or some, some families get by and they can buy lots of presents and they can give them to their children and they can be happy and they can put them on Facebook and they can show everybody just how much they care for their children for buying presents and all that, blah, 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 blah. And yeah, giving gifts is is great and it's, it's wonderful and it's nice and it's thoughtful, but it's not all about buying the most expensive great, amazing, fun gift. Sometimes it's just about having enough money to get you get your family together or having making enough of an effort to get your family together and have fun and connect with each other and talk to each other. We, we always put a lot of pressure on ourselves to make our Christmas the best, but by trying to make it the best, and buying all these things and plastering everything everywhere. Sometimes you can it can detract from the real meaning behind holidays, which is giving people an excuse to get off work and have fun and talk to each other. Obviously, my views can be very different to other people's. Some people obviously just like the presents and they don't want to spend any time with their family. Could be like that. But I think that that is the reason for Christmas. I think that Christmas does not have to be just confined to your family. Christmas is for giving and showing other human beings affection. It doesn't mean just your family or your friends or your spouse or your girlfriend or boyfriend or your niece. It's about doing kind things for people whether it be for the homeless. You don't have to do anything extravagant. Maybe make a shoebox. Put some stuff in it. Put some Christmas stuff in it if you want. Put some food in there. Put some washing up supplies. Those kind of things can be amazing for people who don't have the ability to make expenses for them for that stuff. That could be one of the examples of giving. Another could be seeing someone or, or talking to someone who is loosely connected to the family, who doesn't specifically have a lot of people, a lot of a lot of kind people in their life. Some, you know, someone who doesn't have anyone to to go and be festive with and and be happy and loving and kind with. Let them be a part of your 
festivities. Let them feel the Christmas giving spirit. It all sounds very sappy and, you know, I, I, at heart I'm not particularly comfortable with displaying emotion like this and sometimes, well, especially nowadays, I feel like it makes me weak to bring up stuff like this. But, you know, in my heart, I do honestly believe that we all need to include other people in our lives, even just for a holiday. If you know anybody who suffers with depression or is suffering with a loss or is particularly lonesome and vulnerable at a certain time of year, especially Christmas, consider trying to do a little thing just to bring a little bit of smile and a little bit of want for them into their life. I feel like just those little acts, those little important meaningful acts can do a lot for people. And if you're out there watching this and you feel like any of that has resonated with you, all I want to say to you is Merry Christmas. I am so glad that you are watching this video and I want you around. My heart goes out to you and I want you, I honestly say from the bottom of my heart that the best thing that you can do is to start giving to other people. Sometimes the, the only way to get out of a hole is to make other people feel good. It's not like a, a quick little hit of dopamine. It doesn't lift you up and make you spike up. But it gives you something to be proud of. And it gives you happiness to know that you have affected someone's life in a positive way. Just go out there. Don't feel like you're surrounded by all these expectations of making Christmas amazing or great. If it's not great, don't beat yourself up about it because there are a lot of people out there who feel exactly the same as you, despite all these Christmas adverts, despite all these songs and advertisements on Spotify that drive me up the bloody wall, despite all that. You don't need to do anything. Things that are positive and nice, but when you're not feeling it and you don't feel a part of anything, aren't great. You don't need to feel pressured to make it great. Just do something that you enjoy. Help others as much as you can. If you can't, then it's okay. Try reach out to people even if it's just saying Merry Christmas. Just reach out to those people who you feel the most compassion for. Like, if you really want, if you want to. You can always reach out to me. And I always feel a bit tentative about this because I feel like I'm promoting myself, but I'm not. If you want to message me and chat about something over Christmas, I probably won't be uploading that much from now to New Year's, um, from this when this video comes out, but yeah, just send me a message and I will reply to you, and I wish you a Merry Christmas in person. A personalized Tommy message, that's true. Okay, okay, emotional stuff, pushing, pushing it away. <sighs> Getting into Zen mode because there is a very important announcement to make right now for you guys. I have in this bag a present from Santa. No, no, a present from the gods. Let me show you what's in my bag. What has the gods sent me? This Christmas. What do we have here? I'll tell you who we have here. Everybody, meet Felicia. Felicia is a microscopic tardigrad. A 
specimen able to survive for, I think off the top of my head, around eight years in the vacuum of space or in extreme environmental conditions. And she is magnificent. Just look at that ass. That's why she's called Felicia. Felicia will be joining me on the channel um, for the foreseeable future, just because I love her so much. Ah, Felicia. She's great. I love her so much. Got her from Amsterdam on my holidays. If you want to see some more of my holiday fun, go check out my Instagram. You know where it is. It's at the top of my page. Click on it. Click on that button. If you, if, if you want to, of course. Felicia. Um, I don't know where to put you, Felicia, so I'm just going to put you up here. There you go, Felicia. She's she's covered by me. Okay, Felicia. Okay, let's put you somewhere else, Felicia. Felicia can go on my head. This will make a great thumbnail for the video. Felicia. No, she's still out of the frame. Felicia, you can go here. I'm sorry, Felicia. It's always weird doing these summary videos. Um, I always... I don't want to cut it down too much, but I also want to leave in a lot of it, which is the same thing. Um, but I, I don't want to make it too long because then then nobody's going to click on it. And Felicia will be happy about that. Won't you, Felicia? Yes, I won't, Thomas. All right, that's enough of you. As I said, thank you guys so much for being a part of my channel. If you do want me to do something special for my... 2000 subscriber milestone and there is something specific make sure to go over to my Facebook page where I'll be putting a poll very very far ahead of time very unlike Thomas on what video you would like me to do and you can just give me suggestions and I will pick the best one the one that people find most popular and also the one that isn't too extravagant and impossible for me to do at this moment um, and we'll do one of those. As always, check out those social medias down there. Got the 40 Audi podcast, which I will be doing a New Year's special. I know it's been a long time since I uploaded a, a new podcast episode, but I've been so busy. So please be patient, and please be impatient for the next episode of... The 40 Audi podcast. That was terrible. It's terrible. I'm leaving in the stuff so that you can see how much pain goes into me talking to a camera. It's it's quite tragic. Thank you so much, people. Wishing you a Merry Christmas. Hope you're doing good. As I said, message me if you need anything. I mean not anything, but if message me message me blah, blah, blah. Message me if you want to talk. I'll be here for you in these festive times as much as I can. You guys are awesome. I just want to say from everybody at Asperger's Growth, which is just me, Merry Christmas. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. <laughs>